I loved talking in the voice. Like that was always my favorite thing was talking in the voice. So, you know, at the end of a long day, I, I, you know, the things that were coming out of my mouth in the Vecna voice were always very interesting and very funny. I loved these episodes. I'm sure this is a common question, but have you decided what your Vecna song is? Yeah, I have actually. I decided this a few weeks back and completely shot myself in the foot. I chose a really silly song and I wish I hadn't. Um, it was Miley Cyrus party in the USA. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, you know, I've got to say that every time now, fool, fool that I am. Uh, I just love imagining you run from Vecna though and being like, party in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> God help me. Mine's ABBA for sure. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, so there was this kind of like meme that was formed like a week ago or two weeks ago, and it was you kind of in the Vecna makeup, but holding an iced coffee from Starbucks. Have you seen this? It is my favorite. <laughs> yes, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen this. What What did you think of it? Oh, I don't know. I was never sure. I was unsure. Um, no, people have said that it humanizes me, so I'll take that. <laughs> How long is that makeup process? Seven to se about seven hours, roughly. Yeah. Jeez, wow. Well, um, yeah. I'm sure people are always like, oh, is that grueling? Whatever. But what is your favorite thing to do once you're actually in the Vecna makeup? Are you messing with people on set? What do you do? No, I try not to mess with people too much. Um, so after I would have the application put on, I, I would uh, I would go back to my trailer sit there just take a take about half an hour just to kind of reset and then go on to set uh sit in a dark room in set um if the boys needs to, to needed to do touch-ups i'd go into a tent um but yeah that was that was kind of it i mean i loved talking in the voice like that was always my favorite thing was talking in the voice so you know at the end of a long day i, I you know the things that were coming out of my mouth in the vecna voice were always very interesting and very funny um, but yeah, I, I really like just skulking around and being, being grim. <laughs> I was going to ask you about the, the voice. Is that something that, you know, you do on cue and how did you find that voice? It's not something I can do on cue. It's something I have to warm up for. Um, I mean, I probably could do it on cue now, but like I had to learn how to like relax. I'm a singer, but I often have sung in like a higher register. Mm -hmm. So to relax into the more like bass baritone register of my voice was interesting. So to like relax the larynx and then to warm up the diaphragm as well. I mean, it is really about being fully receptive and relaxed and open and then building the fury and, and, and the resentment and the rage. So uh, it took me a beat to get it though. It did take me a beat to get it. And I, you know, would listen to music to kind of put myself in that space as well. So yeah. What'd you listen to? Sano, Carpathian Forest, Revenge, Dark, Black Metal, heavy, mm -hmm. heavy, heavy stuff. Norma Jean, just, yeah, dark stuff. I'm gonna try it. You, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're close, you're close. <laughs> <laughs> you're close. <laughs> That's how it started though. That's how it started. Cause I was, at the beginning I was like, you, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't, and then, you know, you just kind of settle back into it and breathe from the, space below your belly and put it down there. Yeah, it's very easy. Oh, there you go. I love it. <laughs> I got a wrap already, but thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what, what you got going for us in season five. Thank you so much, Ash. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Take care.